We've just finished race two and what a race. That's really one of the epics in our racing history. Henk started the race, Daniel finished it. There's a lot to say, so we'll start with Henk. He did the first stint. Yeah, what can I say? I mean, uh, starting the race is a bit nerve wracking also uh, because you want to stay away from all the things, but uh, I had clear instructions from Michael what they had to do, so uh, not much doubt about that, although he, keep, he kept nagging me during the race. But uh, it worked. I mean, I stepped it up a bit on yesterday, and I think that helped us getting a bit closer to where we needed to be. Came in with the pit stop, and then basically Daniel hopped in and just had to drive it home. Need, didn't need to do much anymore, I think. So uh, I did all the work today. That's my idea. <laughs> well, Hank says he did, all the, he did all the work. Daniel, you just drove it home, so you fill us in on your stint and keep it quite short. <laughs> um, honestly, Hank's stint was fantastic. The way he stepped up from yesterday and then but we came out from the pit stop, pit stop was perfect and then Michael just gave me the instructions. We came out P3 and it was just don't leave anything behind and I pushed as hard as I could. The car was mega and after the stint that Hank did, I had to push, I had to get everything into it and then we got to second, we got to I think nine seconds off first, then we had the safety car and then to, to bring it P1 on the last lap. Magnificent team effort, Michael, Hank. Audi Sport, absolute be quick. Everyone was just on it today and it was just magnificent. Well, it really turned when the safety car came out and we closed up. The last couple of laps were just insane. Can you just talk us through the last couple of laps? Oh, that was probably the closest fight I've ever had in a car. I mean, and, and I've got to give credit to the Vitana Lamborghini. They played clean, sharp, absolutely perfect I mean we were millimeters apart many many times and I had to send it a couple of times didn't work a couple of times but it, I really had to line it up a couple of corners and just be decisive trust the car trust that I could do it get it deep in on the brakes and wow uh, last lap P1 what can I say awesome congratulations good job now Michael the drivers did a really good job out there but from the pit wall, the race was inch perfect. Can you just talk us through the race from your perspective, please? Well, actually, first thing I have to say, I was very surprised with Hank's pace today because um, it, was, it was a little bit fading away yesterday. Today, it was a completely different story. He almost uh, managed to match uh, Daniel's lap times during the race, so that was a big, big surprise for me. And uh, obviously, the, the ground stone to, to, to finish on the podium and on P1 today. Very good job by Hank, and uh, yeah, um, we, we made a fairly early pit stop, pit stop worked fine, all good. When Daniel got in the car, I was slightly worried for the first couple of three laps, because um, his pace was not that good, um, car was sliding around, so uh, probably the, the tyres needed a couple of three laps to, to, to build up a little bit pressure and grip, and uh, from then on, uh, yeah, it was it was a thriller. It was cool because uh, I gave him the the gap to P2, and it was like 20 seconds. Next lap, it was 16 seconds. Then it was 14, 12, 10. So he was catching the guy in front for by two or three seconds a lap, and that was uh, very good. And uh, I think even without the safety car, we would have managed to to catch the Lambo before the end of the race and, and overtake him. But uh, it helped a little bit, but also it could have spoiled us the race today because. All the pro cars which were lapped already, um, they came from behind, made life difficult for, for Daniel because they overtook him after the safety car and, and then he was somewhere in the middle of the pack. To, to manage that without crashing the car was a good job today. Thank you, Michael. Right, well, Martin, every time we do these interviews, I ask you, are you happy today? Pretty much. <laughs> so <laughs> I've got to ask you, are you happy today? <laughs> it's all yellow. Um, <laughs> Uh, I don't know what, what, what Hank had for dinner last night, it definitely had a healthy effect. Uh, great job man, Daniel too. Um, but I, from Audi Sport Asia I also want to make sure that these guys get their contribution. But what you did for the whole weekend for the team, it's great. It's, it's not only the drivers, not only the engineers, it's everybody. And uh, it's just lovely to see how B-Quick puts it all together, all the hands. Hey, well, we looked at this race as pretty much being a warm-up for TSS here next, so quite quite a warm-up really, <laughs> but that, that was the primary objective. So Henk, is it game on for TSS in Buriram? Yeah, well, it will have to be, right? If this is the warm-up for TSS, then what can we do in TSS? 
<laughs> I mean, we'll sort it out. We'll sort it out when we get there. There's no problem. No problem there, I think. So, right. uh, All looking good. Daniel, your comments on that, please. Uh, look, I mean, it's the best thing is the team goes into the next event just full of confidence and knowing what we can achieve when we do things right. And, and as Martin said, every single person from Be Quick that's involved, from Absolute, from Audi Sport, the engineering side, everybody plays a part. So we know what we have to do to match the results for TSS and we just go in full of confidence knowing what we can achieve when we, when we do it right and it's... Yeah, great, great feeling and great confidence going to the next one. Yeah, it's a great feeling right now. And congratulations, guys, and thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.